Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all my Black Friday beauty haul. This is stuff from Sephora and Ulta where they had their little Black Friday um, beauty gift sets. Obviously, it wasn't on Friday, it was on Thursday because everything started ridiculously early this year. Um, but I feel like I picked up some really, really good stuff and so I'm very excited to share it with you and so let's just get on it. I'm going to start with the Sephora stuff first since I only picked up a few things from Sephora. Um, I definitely picked up a few more things from Ulta this year. Um, but the cool thing about Sephora's deals is everything was only $10. So all of their really cool gifts. And a lot of these sets that did come with some full size products were only 10 bucks. So it was a really, really easy way to just go in there and just pick up some really good gifts or, you know, to kind of go a little bit crazy because everything was just so enticing at that $10 price point. But my Sephora, uh, where my mom and my sisters live, which we went to go visit them over Thanksgiving, is not a freestanding, uh, uh, Sephora store. So all of the advertised like gift sets and all the advertised deals that have been going around over the past week um, for Sephora's Black Friday sale was not available at my Sephora, which kind of sucked. Um, they had a few different sets that weren't advertised, so that was kind of cool, but I really wasn't interested at all in any of the different sets. Um, I was really, really wanting to pick up like a little fragrance set from Nest, and I was really wanting the Origins mask set. So they didn't have either of those. So I had to pick out um, my other options, which is okay, but this is why I didn't spend too much is because um, there just wasn't a whole lot I was interested in. Well, one thing that I was super interested in trying was this Bosha Pore Purifying Duo. If I was going to get the Origin set, I was not going to get this, but because they didn't have the Origin set, I got this. And I have actually tried out this Luminizing Black Mask. Um, the night that I purchased this, I tried it out because I have been suffering from some terrible, terrible breakouts. I don't know. I feel like maybe my hormones or something are just out of whack because it's not caused by makeup. It's not caused by, you know, like dirty pillowcases or a dirty phone. I have been doing all these different things to try to detox my body and get rid of, you know, any like maybe liver or kidney toxins and that hasn't worked. I've sanitized, cleaned absolutely everything that my face touches. That doesn't work. Um, so I feel like maybe it's just kind of a hormonal thing that I'm just going through. When I go through this every once in a while with my skin where um, just for a month it'll just be really, really bad. So it's not like I haven't had this happen before, but um, this month it's definitely been pretty terrible. And I really did like what this did. It made my skin feel really, really soft. I like that it's a peel-off mask, so it's really, really easy to use. One thing I'll say about it is that it doesn't peel off super easily. Like, you really, really have to apply a super thick, thick layer of this if you want to get that really easy peel. Otherwise, you're going to kind of have to scrape at your skin a bit to be able to get it to come off, or just rinse it with warm water. Um, I didn't notice it do anything dramatic to reduce my breakouts, but I've only used it once. I'm going to be using it again probably here in the next couple of days. Um, and if you guys want to see what it looks like, I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty decent size, but I can already tell that this is one of those products that you have to use a lot of. So I don't think that this little one ounce size is going to last you very long, which is unfortunate, but um, I'm glad that I will at least get a couple uses out it of it. It come with a full size little thing of the black charcoal blotting linens blotting papers, whatever you want to call them, um, which I am really excited about this because I don't actually have any blotting papers right now. I on and off use them. I think that overall for $10, this is a pretty, pretty good deal, um, especially because, you know, getting a mask at an esthetician's place or a dermatologist is going to be way, way, way more expensive than 10 bucks. and I do feel like this is a pretty good mask, and then you get these as like a little out of bonus, so i um, pretty happy with this so far. I'm really excited to try out those blotting papers and see how those work. From Sephora, I also got the Makeup Forever Get Glossy set. This comes with the two full-size lip glosses from Makeup Forever that are in the Diamond collection. Um, I really, really like how this is packaged. The lip glosses came in this little nice black tissue. Obviously, I've already kind of dived into this set. So yeah, here you're getting two full-size Makeup Forever lip glosses for 10 bucks, which is, of course, an incredible deal. And I really, really like both of the shades. And that was kind of my deciding factor with the set, is if I liked the shades, I would buy it. If I didn't, I wouldn't. Just because I have just been accumulating lip gloss like crazy crazy recently, which I don't even understand why, but I just have. Um, as for the shade names, you are getting D16 and D14. D14 is a beautiful pink color that has a golden glitter in it. Both of these shades are very, very sparkly. Being a part of the diamond collection, they don't have a cream finish. They have a sparkly finish. So far, I have worn this shade here, the pink one. And what I can tell is that that glitter it definitely wears off evenly, which I like. But you can kind of feel it on your lips a little bit. Like when you smack your lips together, you can just feel the slightest bit of a little bit of a grit there. So it's not like a totally comfortable, smooth, like you couldn't even detect glitter in your lip gloss kind of feel. You can definitely feel it a little bit. The scent bit. on these is a little bit weird. 
it's not really a bad scent. I just, I don't know how to explain it because I've never really smelt anything like that. Um, and the lip glosses themselves are actually quite thin in formulation. Like, I was surprised when I put it on. I felt like I put on way too much because I was like, oh my god, it was just slipping and sliding everywhere. Um, definitely not a sticky lip gloss at all, which isn't bad. Um, you just have to use a really little amount of it because definitely a little bit goes a long way. And then this shade here, the D16, is kind of like a, it's honestly just kind of like a pinky gold. It's really, really pretty. Haven't used this one yet, but I am definitely excited to. I think that this shade here would be like a good topper to a nude lip if you wanted it to be a bit more sparkly, or just a good kind of, you know, pinky lip if you just wanted to add a little bit of shine. Um, I do like the formulation on these. I mean, I'm going to have to wear them a bit more to get more of a feel for it, but the pink ones seem to last a pretty good amount of time, and overall, I'm happy that I got and it. And finally from Sephora, this wasn't on sale, but it was just something I picked up. Um, this is the Cover FX Cream Concealer. I got this in the shade. G light which stands for golden light. I got this because as you guys know at the salon I work at I've been doing a little bit of spray tanning and I don't have any of it on right now but I really needed a concealer for underneath my eyes when I am spray tanning because when I use a darker foundation and I use my NARS concealer right now I mean it is just like so highlighty. I mean I have like this really really tan face and then these like bright pale under eyes and it doesn't really look glowy and like Kim Kardashian like it just looks really weird. I super weird like I have white eyeballs or something it's just ugh, not for me um so I needed a concealer that I could put under my eyes or on blemishes when I am self tanning and I figured this would work it's got a very nice golden -y tone to it so a very nice tan tone and um it is a bit darker than my natural skin tone so I can't really do much with it right now but um I am excited to use it when I'm tanning so that was it from Sephora let's move on to some of the Ulta stuff um I'll show you guys this one hot bomba set first so this this was $18 and it came with a full size Bella Bomba blush and Bella Bomba lip gloss which if you're wondering what those look like they look like this so here is a blush and here is the lip gloss Bella Bomba has been around for a while um, and I don't know if it just wasn't very successful but I noticed that Benefit seemed to like pull it from their line and only release it in like certain sets so it became quite exclusive um, it's a very very interesting shade of pink they call it a 3d watermelon pink um, I would just describe it as a kind of like a bright pink that has just a very like multi-tonal shimmer going on to it. Um, typically I don't like shimmery blushes and the main reason I picked this up is I figured you know for $18 it's either going to work well on me or I can use it in my kit and it'll work well on other people but I was surprised how pretty this looks on the skin. There's something about that shimmer that it really doesn't translate much on the skin. It just kind of adds a little bit of a glow but it doesn't look like a cheap shimmery blush which I really like. It's got a really nice scent to it, that nice kind of perfumed Benefit box blush scent. Um, decently pigmented, wears for a good amount of time. If you've ever tried one of the Benefit box blushes, I mean, it's right on par with those. And I actually really do like the color, so I'm going to keep it for myself. I also think the packaging is beautiful. I really, really like the way that this looks. I love the um, kind of like sequiny pattern. That it's all purple and lavender and hot pink and orange. It's just really bright and pretty. And then the Bella Bomba Gloss. I was wearing this yesterday. This too has a very, very thin formulation to it. Definitely not a gloss that is going to stick around for too long. Um, also, in the tube, it looks a bit more pigmented than it actually is. If I'm just watching it, it definitely goes on more sheer than anything else. So there's the color, and there's kind of what it looks like in the tube. Um, there's something about it in the tube. It just looks like it's going to have more of a cream finish, but it definitely has more of that jelly kind of finish to it. And I wouldn't say the color is exactly on par with the blush. Um, this Bella Bama Gloss definitely is a bit more, I don't know, kind of cherry colored. Um... You guys can see here, I mean, the Bella Bomba blush is definitely pink, and this is definitely a little bit more on the red, kind of poppy red side of things. Um, but very sheer. I think it'd be pretty over kind of poppy red lipsticks. Um, I wore it by itself, and it just kind of added a very, very slight tint to my lips, but nothing noticeable. You don't look at me and be like, oh, she's wearing a lip color or anything. Um... But I do like it. Uh, just a good kind of thin gloss. I mean, by itself, I don't know if I'd purchase it, but I like that it came with the set, and I am very happy with this blush. Next, let's talk about this set here. This is the Tarte Sweet Dream set. Um, this was $19, and it came with a full-size lip surgeon's gloss, a full-size lights camera lashes, and then a little mini faux, best-in-faux fiber mascara. Um, 
I gave the little mini best info to my sisters just because I already have the unique fiber lash and so I already have kind of like those fibers and I really wasn't interested in having more just because I know that I won't use them and they were really interested to see what it was like so I decided to give it to them um, but I did keep the mascara and the lip gloss. This came housed in a super super cute tissue that is lavender and says her sweet dreams so it was all packed in here and then inside the box which was really nice it was kind of like getting a gift so I really appreciated that and then of course the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm sure everybody has heard of this or everybody has tried it. Um, it's just a good all around lengthening, volumizing, defining mascara. It kind of just ticks all of those boxes for a lot of people. I'm not going to open it because I already have two different mascaras that I'm kind of alternating between that are open and I need to get through one of those before I decide to open up this guy. Um, especially because I have problems with these Tarte Mascaras drying out really bad or just collecting a lot of bacteria. I think because they have so many natural ingredients in them they're prone to going bad a little bit more than some other mascaras um, so I'm just a little bit nervous with this guy I don't want to open it until I know I'm ready to use it so not doing much with that but the Tarte uh, Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss this is in the shade Joy it's what I am wearing right now um, this is a lot different than I thought it would be. I figured that these would be very moisturizing and I expected these to more so have the consistency of like one of these um, Makeup Forever lip glosses or like the Benefit lip gloss. I thought that these were going to be very thin and I was totally wrong. This is definitely a thick gloss. It's not sticky per se, but it's thick. Like you can definitely feel it on your lips. Whereas the other glosses just are very, you know, shiny and very smooth and just kind of glide on. Um, I had a little bit more trouble with this. It definitely goes on a bit more thick. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that this is definitely going to wear a long time. The shade itself is just a nice kind of peachy, corally color. Um, on my lips, I just wore it by itself. It doesn't really show up as much, but I think over a uh, lipstick, you know, similar to this, it'll just add a nice shine but again it kind of just goes on sheer more than anything else um I don't know exactly how I feel about the formulation. Uh, it's a little bit, like I said, just a tiny bit, almost too thick for my liking, but I'm not going to rule it out yet just because my thoughts may change. Um, it does feel really nice on my lips, and I'm excited to see once I decide to take it off if my lips feel any more hydrated, especially because they are so dry right now. Um, so we'll see with this guy. And last but not least, I picked up both of the five pan eyeshadow palettes from Lorac that they had. Um, these were both $12, and they had one that was shimmery called the Sultry Scarlet and they had one that was matte called the Vintage Vixen and these are what those look like. Um, honestly I'm not wowed with the packaging on these and I'll talk more about the product inside but you can just there's just something about this that reminds me of like those sets that you'd find in like Walgreens or CVS that you would ask for as a kid that just had like those cheap little eyeshadows in them. They're just kind of you know those standard typical um, cheap kind of cardboard not like nice and pretty and I don't know like as heavy duty feeling as like the Lorac Pro palettes. I know those have the same kind of cardboard packaging Maybe it's the design or the fact that those have a little bit more of like a rubberized texture and these have a shiny texture. Um, but they just, the packaging just feels really, really cheap to me. Um, but anyway, this is the Sultry Starlet. Again, there's something too I want to say about the way that the pans are in here that kind of looks cheap to me as well. I mean, I guess I would look at this and be like, yeah, that's a $12 eyeshadow palette. But the quality is really, really good. The quality is definitely your Lorac eyeshadow quality with the exception of one shade. I found that in this palette, palette. Um, this gold here is a bit of a dud. It's really kind of just I don't want to say gritty because it, it's not gritty, it is smooth, but it just goes on very, very patchy. And it's one of those shades that like when you swatch it, it just seems to kind of disappear into the air and it doesn't really seem to pack on very well. Um, there's not a very smooth, pigmented, buildable shade. It's just very patchy and very kind of like dry and you know, it's one of those shades that if you're to try to pick up with a brush, I'm sure most of it would go around you and not actually on the brush. But everything else in here is gorgeous. It has that same smooth, really, really pigmented um, long wearing texture that you would expect from Lorac. And the matte eyeshadow palette is the same. Um, Lorac matte shadows are my absolute favorite matte shadows in the world and these definitely do not disappoint. I don't think in this palette there's one shadow in here that I think is a dud. I think they're all great. I'm really happy that I was able to pick up this one, especially because for some reason my Ulta didn't carry as many of these matte ones as they did these shimmery ones. The matte ones either went really fast, which doesn't really make sense because I was in the front of the line, or the workers grabbed them or something. But these matte, this matte palette is definitely, I think, a lot better than the shimmery one, just because all 
all of these are really smooth and really pigmented and are really nice. An idea of what some of these matte ones look like. Just nice textures. Um, I've played with both of these on my eyes. The matte one just blends out so nice and it just is so pretty. And usually, you know, matte shadows can be kind of hard to do, but those ones are really nice. Um, as for the shimmery ones, like I said, all but this gold. I mean, I am so obsessed with some of these lighter champagne shades. They just reflect the light so beautifully. So I'm definitely happy that I picked this up because it's really, really pretty and I like the fact that I can kind of interchange between the two. Um, I could see myself in the future traveling with these, just bringing these because I can definitely, you know, use the matte to sort of supplement the shimmer and get a lot of really cool eye looks out of these. So I'm happy I got both, but I definitely prefer the matte one. And then um, Ulta also threw in a few gifts with purchases. I got this uh, Benefit Cosmetics um, kind of like makeup bag, which I again gave to my sisters. And then I got a little thing of the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. I haven't even, ooh, I haven't even opened this up to see what it's like. It says it invigorates your complexion with a gradual radiant tan. Um, so I'm guessing it's just kind of like a gradual tanner. Oh, look how cute this packaging is. I definitely like the packaging on this. Maybe when I am spray tanning, I'll use this just because I usually don't spray tan my face since I'm really nervous about those kind of chemicals being on my skin, um, especially my face, which tends to be so sensitive. But maybe I'll try this guy and that'll help. And then I got this little, little tiny um, Lorac Luster Gloss in the shade Peach Luster. I mean, this thing has got to be just minuscule. Look how cute it is. It's so tiny. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to use this. Maybe I'll throw it in my purse or something because the shade looks like it's kind of just a good everyday, I don't know, peachy shade, but oh my god, look how tiny that is. Um, I love the little brush. That's really cute. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that is all I got for my beauty stuff. I did also pick up some uh, fashion things, but not much. This is really like the bulk of my Black Friday shopping. Um, if you guys do want to see like a fashion haul, I can definitely show you. I got more shoes than anything else during Black Friday, which is kind of weird because usually I'm not a big shoe person. Um, but I'm really happy with everything I got. There's not one thing that I regret purchasing. I'm really happy with the deals that were going on this year and I'm happy with these sets and uh yeah like I said I don't really regret a purchase which is always nice anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you all later bye bye